Studios. The elusive Copic marker. Um, it's one of those uh, really expensive tools that a lot of artists are scared to kind of dive into. Um, and I can see why it, it's uh, kind of hard to tell what color is what, um, especially with my issues seeing the certain colors and the saturation in colors. Um, so I switched to Copic. I've been collecting these for about four years now, and I really enjoy them. Uh, one of the caveats being that they're really expensive. One marker now retails for $7.99. Um, so I wanted to show the different techniques and tools that I use to draw and color with these. Uh, and I say draw because there are some of them that you can draw with, uh, like the 100 and the 110 black and special black, respectively. Uh, those two are, I can actually sketch really quick with and uh, I enjoy for uh, quick convention sketches. Um, but the most daunting part is the blending aspect. And what is blending? It's basically taking two different colors and making a new color out of it or smoothing out a color that you already have. Um, these, when you do one pass, which I'll show in the video, uh, when you do one pass, you don't really see um, like a good saturation of the color. So you usually have to pass over and over. Um, so in order to kind of get the longevity of your color, uh, blending it is a good way to kind of mask that lack of saturation by putting another uh, color over it. Uh, you've probably seen it a lot in my speed videos where uh, Scorpion, for example, I did quick pass throughs of the gray and then I went in with a, with a darker gray. But I'm gonna go over that in the video. Um, I just wanted to go over the Copic marker. Now these can be found at any local art store or big mom and papa or big, big chain art stores. They normally retail for $7.99, um, but if you, my, my trick was uh, before I found the mom and pop shops, and I'll go into that in a second. Uh, but if you get the weekly uh, coupon, from Michael's. Uh, Joanne Fabrics does not carry Copics, at least not in my area, maybe in your area they do, um, but Hobby Lobby and uh, Michael's are the only two big ones that I know of that carries them, uh, but they usually have circulars or on their website you can get a coupon um, and then you can get half price off the marker. Four bucks still seems like a lot for a marker, but these are refillable and interchangeable so you can actually change the tip uh, let me see if it auto focus here come on <laughs> uh, these these have changeable nibs so you can change the brush tip or you can change the chisel tip now there's two different types of copics there is the copic sketch 2 which it has the sketch uh, portion the sketch brush then you have the copic just Copic 2. It's not the sketch brand. These are different because it actually has the chisel tip, but then the other end is just a nib. So you can get more precise um, little areas with it. Uh, there's also the Chow. Now the Chow line, these are have a smaller tank, so you'll get less color out of one tank but it is a lot like the Sketch 2's where there's a brush and a chisel tip. Uh, I personally like the Chows, how they feel in your hand, but as far as transportation, because I do a lot of conventions, I'd like to see the color that I'm dealing with before, before I dig in. And because these aren't labeled at the top, they are kind of cumbersome, so I kind of have to guess, especially not being able to see correctly what I'm grabbing. Uh, these, on the other hand, actually have the label. So um, I'll show it in the video, but for skin tone, I really like E000, E00, and then E01. And then I'll use dark skin, um, dark suntan, and then light suntan for skin tones. 
and uh, like I said, I'll show it. I'll show it in the video. I have a paper here ready to go. And as far as there's also wides, uh, which I don't have with me right now. Now, as far as alternatives go, if you're looking for a cheap alternative, uh, Shinhan is a brand that makes these. They're called the Shinhan Touch. And just like the Copics, they have a line of ones that are nib and chisel tip and then chisel tip and brush tip. These are half the price of Copics, but they cannot be interchanged. So you cannot change the, the tip once they wear out. And I'm very heavy handed, so I will wear out the tip almost guaranteed. Uh, a couple of mine are already worn out completely. So um, as far as that goes, I'm going to go over some of the blending techniques. And then later on in the video, I'll uh, give you some tips and tricks on how to save even more money with them. And um, e even online, there's a couple websites that you can find. So let's get to it. All right. Let's get started, shall we? Now, I have the camera set up here. It is aiming right at the paper. I'm going to do my best so that you can still see the line work as I'm drawing and I don't kind of get in the way of <laughs> the webcam here. Um, this is probably the, the smallest size I can make the webcam without kind of losing uh, so much of the canvas here. So I'm just going to draw a quick sketch here. Um, we'll draw Batman. And Batman's going to have quite a bit of different colors here, so it's going to be a very colorful Batman. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm a big DC fan. Uh, that's probably why I'm not really in a rush to see the Avengers Endgame. I actually waited until uh, the... Endgame was out on on uh, video on demand before I watched it. All right, so I'm just putting in some shadows here. Obviously, this is a really rough sketch, uh, and Batman is really hungry here. All right, and just just for the sake of the video, we're gonna make Batman's torso here, uh, maybe a purple or a pink. Alright, so there's Batman. And I did it just for the sake of testing out the colors. Now like I said in the video prior is that I like to use um, E00, 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 and then E01. The reason why I like those is um, most humans, even uh, you know, Hispanic or African American skin, we have a shade of pink. So, starting off at such a light base, uh, then you can bring out the color even more. Uh, when I did, uh, when Luke Cage was huge uh, at conventions, I was doing Luke Cage, and I would start off with E01 because uh, it's kind of a mid range color. Uh, but then I have E00 somewhere in here. <laughs> All right, so that's E00 right there. Let me see if I focus on the camera. E00. And then triple zero, I always end up putting with my reds. I don't know why, but it is here. This is the E triple zero. Now, I'm going to do it on Batman's skin tone, so I'm going to zo zoom in just a little bit. There we go. So I'll start off with this, and I'm going to bring the camera in a little bit more, just so you can see the color. Now, it is picking up some of the ink, and that's that's perfectly all right. It's just for the sake of the video. Uh, normally, in my speed drawings, I'll let the uh, line work sit for a couple minutes just to dry. I went right in, so that's why you're seeing some of these black showing up now like what I was saying in the video is you can keep passing the marker through to heavily saturate it but you don't have to do that that's what the other markers are for but if you're just starting off and you really don't have um, a big collection um, 
this is a good good way to go. So this one has been leaking on me quite a bit because I overfilled the tank. So it might be a little bit too much. So then obviously the dark the darkness is coming from this side. So or the light is coming from this side. So now still be a little dark here just from this cheek. And then you would grab this mid-tone, which is the E00, and kind of smooth it out. And this will kind of fill in any gaps that you might have. Now you can add your shadows. And what I like to use for shadows is either dark suntan, if it's Hispanic or African American, or light suntan which is E13 and E15. I don't think I own E14 just yet, but you'll see the effect. And this one's pretty dried out at this point. And you can tell I use this one a lot. And if you want to get even darker, you can grab the dark sun thing. Now, uh, an effect that I really like to use uh, as far as uh, breaking color up. So, because when I first started, all I really had was grays. So, just for the sake of the video, I'm going to show you with a prune. So, if you starting off and you only have like you know three or four markers um, what I like to do is I'll do these breaks give it that effect that there's light shining off of it I do this a lot now with my gel marker and my paint marker for highlights and now you can go in with another color that I might be thrown off a bit Hopefully this one's darker. Okay, yep. And if prune and soft violet are the only colors you have, you can give this a cool effect. Obviously, it's not going to be Batman. This is like a bizarro Batman or something. Looks more like Huntress. <laughs> and then you can even go back in to push push those colors out and this is what I'm talking about when it layers if you if you want to make it more consistent you can layer it up but now that break is a lot harsher you see there's a straight line there now uh, yellows I find to be a little bit more difficult especially if you're recording it because yellows do show up uh, they show up kind of green on video I'm not sure why maybe that's just me what I see but I'm gonna use a canary yellow acid yellow and cadmium yellow and let's see if I can turn these correctly here Bloop. Bloop, bloop. there we go all right it's the macho man says those are the colors those are the colors and as you can see here it already looks green to me. It might look a little different to you. And acid yellow. And we can push even that, that yellow out a little bit more. Because once you have those colors in, now you're blending. And then you grab this darker yellow and then if you even want to bring out the yellow a little, a little bit more you can go to an orange uh, I like to use Chinese orange there it is Chinese orange YR09 
and this is where the blending is going to come in handy so what we put down here was the cadmium yellow so then you can lift that and soften it up now let's say you only have blue and red and you just don't have the money or you just can't find a purple so what you would do is we're going to grab red and blue uh, I'm going to use royal blue and R27 cadmium red R and B28 now if you can find it at um, Michaels they do sell the premium or not premium primary colors <laughs> they are premium markers though so this is how we're gonna blend so we're gonna take the blue and you see how rich rich that color is and the red this one's a little dried out I do use my reds a lot with Ninja Turtles you kinda have to use a lot of red now watch what's gonna happen when I when I go over the blue it's gonna create a purple it's kind of a dark purple but it's because we used a, blue, a, a darker blue now if we use the lighter blue but still kept the red Now it creates more of a tangerine, but then we go over it, and now it's like a light, soft violet. Same thing can be done with yellow and blue. Uh, I'm going to try acid yellow here first. And then blue. And it automatically goes to green. So you have to have uh, an idea of primary colors and color theory before you blend, but this kind of teaches you in the meantime. So that I, I really enjoy learning uh, color theory with all these. Now the other tip is I'm going to show you how to refill them. So obviously my, where did it go? there we go red so this is the one that I was a little low on uh, I don't have my syringes but the way that you would refill the marker you see how it's dried up here on the tip and it's almost it is almost rock hard uh, and so there's still some juice in it but you can see in the edges it's starting to fade a little so what we do is that we would take this brush out this is not the right way to take the brush there is a uh, a clip they sell so you can actually clip the thicker part here so it's it's hard here but then there's a reservoir that locks into there so obviously this thing uh, from all the travel that I do you know the temperature changes are really important for the markers so I'm going to slowly drop a little in there. Not a lot, just... Oh. Hey, I got some on Batman. <laughs> so then we're going to close that up. And clean it up. My wife is very used to seeing me come up like this. Especially when I do the blood splatter. <laughs> She's like, what were you doing? And I, was like, I was just, you know, just killing Namex. Well, Namex have purple blood. That thing was dirty. This is alcohol based, so it will dry out. If you don't close the cap on them, they will dry out. So you see it's already starting to get a lot, a lot of moisture in there. So then you just turn it over, give it a little bit. You could even shake it. And now 
now it's starting to get completely wet you can't overfill these though because what happens when you overfill them they will leak uh, actually I did a video a couple weeks ago and you can actually see me uh, see one of them spill all over the drawing luckily I was able to salvage it but now let's say you don't have Copics a good alternative is Prismacolor Premieres these have the same idea and they're just a little bit cheaper but you can blend with these they are alcohol based so that's another option for you same premise the only thing is these are not interchangeable so once they are dried out you have to get rid of them uh, and always recycle these because uh, you know just better for the environment it's non-toxic so and there you go so I hope that video helped any of you guys out uh, that were looking to do uh, markers or get into markers uh, and Copics in general uh, this is just the basics um, if you see some of the videos you can learn a little bit on there uh, but pretty much playing around with them experimenting I've had them for four years now and constantly getting new colors so it's always something new that I got to learn um, so obviously it's just a learning process but hopefully this helps kind of get that fear of trying the markers out so hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much don't forget to like share and subscribe and as always don't forget to keep it over 9,000. Take care.